The quick grey fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick grey fox jumps over the lazy dog. Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and today I'm going to do a little microphone comparison between two different yet kind of similar slash the same microphones. The ones in question are these ones, the Lavalier slash lapel microphone by a company called Zafiro. And they are currently available from Amazon for under $20 on the same listing. That wasn't always the case. Uh, let me show you the actual microphones here. These are them and they're kind of clip on microphones that we used to use in the broadcast industry to clip it onto people and then do either field recording or studio recording. And and uh, they're, they're amazing for what they are, uh, considering that they are so cheap and so tiny and so small. But uh, the confusing bit, and this is why I'm actually making this video, is that the same product is only a dollar out of uh, kind of the, they're both one is $17.99 the other one is $16.99 and the only difference that you can spot right now is the size so one is smaller and one is larger but the actual listing on Amazon doesn't give this away it's kind of a total mystery what the actual difference is between these two microphones and that's why I'm doing a bit of an invest investigation into this thing so um, there we go the packaging looks identical on, on both products. The, the only difference is literally the Amazon standard identification number. And of course, the other one is the fact that they're totally different microphones and they have different characteristics and we're going to listen to them in a moment. Uh, before I continue, I'm currently not speaking into any of these microphones. I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone, which is just outside my field of vision right here, sitting on my desk. It's about 20 centimeters away from me. So this is a Blue Yeti microphone. And these ones I've not connected right now. So I'm gonna, we're going to listen to those in a moment. The major difference between these two is that one records slightly hotter than the other one. That's usually not a problem when you're using them for for professional applications or like say if you're recording it for on, a, on a computer then you usually have an input control as to how hot you want to record the microphone but when you're using a mobile device then you don't have that volume input control usually and you just plug it in you hit a button and it records and this one the small version records slightly louder than the large version the large version claims to have the all new condenser microphone it's one of those things um, I'm going to refer to them as the blue version and the green version because that's the only distinguishing difference between the two in the packet. So in the packet, first of all, we're going to get we get the microphones, of course, and we get uh, the microphone and all the accessories come in little bags here. And you can tell them apart because one, which is the blue version, comes in a full leather type bag with a Zafiro logo on it. And the other one, the green version, comes in a kind of a furry bag, which is this one, and um, also with a Zafiro logo on it. And that's, that's one difference. So they come in different bags, which, you know, doesn't really interest you when you're recording stuff with them but the good thing is all the accessories as well as the microphone fit into a nice little bag so that's great you get a lot of bang for your buck with these microphones i must say so that's one thing let's have a look at the listing on amazon quickly and uh, see if you can decipher some of the differences here so this is the listing it used to be uh, there used to be different products they've combined them now so that they have different flavors and you can see which one is which here this is the blue version that i was talking about what they call the black one lavalier microphone version currently and this one is the green version which is the black two lapel microphone or the large version that's this one you can see on the first picture that the one the blue version comes with more accessories than the other version the larger version and uh, we can we can scroll down the description is more or less identical for both products and the only thing is really that um, they have different accessories so this i've got this open in two tabs here this is the blue version these are all the accessories that come with the blue version we're going to go through them in a moment and this one is the green version or the large version and we don't actually get to see such a picture here unless we go and uh, maybe have a look at this so this is actually a nice comparison here on the second product that they uh, let us know that there is a difference between the microphone size. So we're going to have a look at that in a moment. So that's the kind of the physical 
differences between the microphones, between the blue one, the small one, and the green one, the large one. And the large one appears to be a dollar cheaper than the small one, which makes you wonder, well, why don't I just get the cheaper one? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Let's have a look at the accessories. First of all, why do I even call them the green version and the blue version? Well, let me tell you, they both come with little user guides here. And the only distinguishing difference is that one of them has the, the logo in blue and the one of them has the user guide spelled out in green. And that is the only difference between the two booklets. I mean, they look identical. I'm going to actually make a scan of these and put them on my website. There's a link underneath the video in the description to the article on my website. And that's where you're going to find scans or photographs of both of these user guides in case you're interested they come with kind of you know interesting characteristics which look exactly the same which you know it's one of those things that they, they can't be if they're different microphones of course and it explains a little bit about the accessories in here as well on each version but we're going to go through that now uh, live so let's use the blue version first which is the smaller version of the microphone so that little um, four leather bag that comes with the microphone of course the microphone comes with a windshield attached on it of course where you can take that off and this is what that looks like this is exactly what we just saw in the description on the websites there this is the um, the one microphone in fact let me just take off show you the larger version as well and take the larger thing off as well so this is more or less exactly what we just saw there in the whoops it's gonna run off my there we go I was just about to roll off the desk sorry about this so uh, yeah these are the two microphones and this is what they what they look like they claim to both be kind of um, noise reducing as well and uh, I've used both of them outdoors in windy conditions and it is true I mean they're both kind of noise reducing but the main difference I can I can hear is that they're that they're recording at different levels so this one the smaller one records hotter than the larger one very important to remember now let's have a look at the accessories here. These windshields, by the way, they come as part of the accessories as a replacement. So let's have a look at the blue uh, version first, the four leather bag here. It comes with, both microphones come with an extension, a TRRS extension, gold plated. By the way, they're both gold plated. Both microphones come with gold plated contacts here. So that's very interesting to whoops to to know they're not going to rot away or anything. They're going to they're going to stay like that for a while. So the extension is about 6 feet. It comes wrapped up in a little cable tie thing here, very nice, and it's gold plated on both ends. It's good to good to know in case you ever need to record somebody with equipment that is further away from them you always have a bit of an extension thing here hum doesn't appear to be a problem i've had a look at that as well a hum doesn't appear to come into the issue that's cool so both microphones have that uh, then the blue version the, they're both coming a little you know with another little thing here everything fits nicely into the bag they come with a little bag here upon opening it we can find inside it a separate windshield so you've got a replacement of that that's very handy in case one ever breaks we also have on the blue version uh, one actually we have this on both versions let's do what's what's actually similar about these we have uh, we have this little guy this is an adapter from a trrs cable to a trs cable both three and a half millimeters so the difference is um, that uh, i'm just gonna have a look where there it is this is the connector from the actual microphone here and this is the adapter connector and you can see the difference this one here is a trrs connector and this is a trs connector so the difference between these two is that this one is a standard stereo 3.5 millimeter headphone jack connection whereas this one is a kind of uh, it's become a standard but it never used to be a standard so this is stereo plus one extra contact and this is used on iphone and mobile phone headphones for the remote control the remote control the little volume control and the start stop button that needs to kind of transmit information over another channel while it's connected into the mobile device and that's what this is made for and some equipment when you use it is not compatible with trrs the r's by the way are the rings here so this one is a TRS so that has a, a tip 
a ring and uh, I don't know a ground or something. I, I really don't know what the what the what that stands for. Whereas this one has a T, a ring, a ring, and an S. That's what that stands for. So the mono version of this would be just a TS, and the stereo version is a TRS. And then you can have you have, you've got this version here, which is the TRRS. And sometimes contacts just don't work, or you're only recording one channel, and that's kind of annoying. And that's why they give you a little adapter, so one thing fits into the other. Booyakasha, and then you, you're compatible with other equipment. That's why they do that. So that's, that's one piece of equipment that comes with both microphones. And one that is two little pieces, well, another, there's actually another, I'm so sorry. I, just, I should have really rehearsed this, shouldn't I? <laughs> another thing is this little clip. So you get a replacement clip that is already on the microphone, but you can, in case you ever lose it or if it ever breaks, you do have a second one that just easily clips onto the cable and onto the microphone, and then, you know, you have a replacement clip. So that's unique, that's, that's, uh, that's happening on both microphones, very cool. So then the one thing that is unique about the blue version, probably which is why it's one dollar more expensive, you get two additional accessories with it. And one is a TRRS 3.5 millimeter to 6.3 millimeter T rs jack so this one is kind of gives makes the the smaller connector and um, turns it into a larger connector this is used on professional kind of pa equipment that often doesn't have a small uh, jack input a 3.5 millimeter jack input but you get this as a 6.5 6.3 millimeter adapter so you can do that booyakasha it's not gold plated by the way just to let you know this is kind of a you know this is the one that's going to corrode in the next two weeks or so so but you get it so it's a nice little accessory to have if you need it and then we have one final accessory which is kind of cool for the gopro crowd which is which looks like this and that is something that turns your it's also gold plated by the way i like really like gold plating uh, that turns your microphone output into a us micro usb output so it's a it's a female thing you pop that in here mm, spam phone call i like it let's just you know get rid of that so uh, yeah you, you put that into the adapter and out comes a micro usb connection so that's cool if you want to connect that microphone directly to a gopro and record sound that way very cool little accessory only the blue version only the small microphone has that not the large version the green version does not come with that accessory this adapter alone is about worth ten dollars so it's kind of kind of as i said good bang for your buck that you get there Sadly, I couldn't test this because my GoPro does not, uh, my GoPro has an issue. I've had about five of these adapters and then none of them work on my GoPro. So that's probably my GoPro issue rather than um, an issue with the actual adapter. So uh, I trust this works. Sadly, I couldn't test this, but it's one of those things. So those are the accessories that come with it. And again, this, this is the, the, the other camera, the large camera, and that comes with more or less exactly the same except for the large connector this one that's not part of the large microphone and the gopro connector the the usb connector not part of this but it comes with an adequately large windshield replacement it comes with a clip and it comes with a trrs to trs uh, adapter in the little bag i'm not going to open that because you know i know that's that's in there so those are the physical differences between the accessories and now I'm going to put those little windshields over those microphones again, and I'm going to test those microphones side by side next to each other. I'm going to start with the little one, with the blue version. Uh, no, that's, go that's going on here, and that is going on here. I'm going to do that um, in a moment. There we go. That's, that's easy. Easy to put on. This one is slightly more difficult, but I'm going to ask, fiddle around with that in a minute. And then we're going to listen to this in comparison to one another. I'm going to use a catchphrase uh, called, it's usually used in topography. It's uh, called the quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's going to be the thing I'm going to be saying over and over again so you can get an accurate representation of each microphone. And we can even compare it to the Blue Yeti microphone, which I also have. So the quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. I'm using that phrase because it contains every letter of the alphabet in kind of a more or less meaningful way. Let's get started listening to the blue microphone.
Right, this is now the blue version of the microphone and I'm not actually clipping it onto me, I'm kind of moving it around here. This is, I could even hold it into the camera just so that you get an impression. This is about 10 to 12 inches away from me now uh, in front of me. And this is what it sounds like if it's kind of below me. This is kind of where it would be in a normal situation when you're taping an interview or something. And uh, yeah, so this is now recording a little bit hotter than the other microphone that I'm going to pitch it against in a moment. So let's hear that catchphrase so I can ca intercut between these two. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. So that is the blue microphone, so the blue version of the Zafiro microphone, not to be confused with the blue Yeti microphone, one of those things. Should have avoided confusion there didn't pick those uh, blue-green comparisons, uh, the Zafira people did that, so there we go. Should have labeled them less confusing in the first place, there we go. So the quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. Let's listen to the other microphone in comparison. And we're back with the green version of the Zafiro microphone. That's this one here. Again, I'm holding this kind of, you know, 20 centimeters in front of me. It looks massive if I put it into the camera. It's like a huge, it's like, it looks like a boom microphone from the, from, you know, when you put the boom in the top of the, anyway. So it's one of those things. This is now the green version. And of course, again, I, this is what it would sound like if I'm wearing it. This comes in slightly less hot than the other microphone. And again, this is, this is important to understand that on mobile devices, we usually don't have a way to control the input volume of the microphone. So you're running less risk of this distorting in, uh, in mobile field recording on iOS or Android devices. Uh, by the way, this works equally well on Android as well as iOS devices and, of course, on computers. So, so usually Macs and most PCs are TRS capable to record that jack without an adapter. So here we go. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick gray fox jumps over the lazy dog. And now I'm back on the Blue Yeti microphone, which is outside. So this is neither of these two microphones is being used right now. So again, these are the two different Zafiro microphones you can get on Amazon. I'm going to put a link to both microphones into the description. I mean, it's kind of the same product now, so it's basically just one link. Just in case that ever changes, I will split those two links out that you know which one the blue version is and which one the green version is. And you can make up your own mind which one you want to buy. I think they both sound pretty good for the amount of money that they cost. I mean, a sub $20 microphone of this caliber isn't isn't easy to come by. I did actually buy previously I, when I when I was looking into microphones, I did buy another microphone which was called the Movo GM100, I believe. I do not recommend that. So I ordered two of those and they kind of both, around, one arrived broken and the other one arrived not working. So it's kind of, you know, what's the point really? So I returned them both, but I do not recommend those microphones. But these ones, I've, again, I've ordered four of these so far. I'm not being paid to say any of this either. This is just, you know, my own opinions here. I think they both sound nice, They, especially for the amount of money that you pay for them. They don't sound amazing, so they're kind of okay microphones. Good to remember, they're not a Sennheiser or like a you know a $100 lapel microphone, very important. They're also not a Blue Yeti microphone, which is what I'm using now. And so there is certainly 
a difference between those types of products but for kind of casual field work they're not bad they're certainly better than built-in camera microphones like the gopro microphone which is just rubbish i don't even know why they put him anyway, it's one of the another political discussion i guess it is one of those things that if you want good audio quality you have to have a directional microphone that picks this up and these for under 20 dollars not really that bad i have to say um so yes I think the characteristics are just different between the two once you even out the levels. So that's something to consider if you do want to order more than one microphone because you want to record more than one person, like two, three people, make sure they're the same microphone. It doesn't really matter which version you choose, but make sure they are the same group because otherwise you have a different microphone characteristic and you have a different person characteristic. It's one of those things. I'm not an expert, an audio expert, an audio file, but uh, that's that's my opinion as a casual broadcast professional. There we go. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. You can, of course, also listen to any of these episodes on my podcast feed. I'm going to put a link to that in the description underneath the video and, of course, my website as well. If you like these videos, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can give as little as $1 every month and then uh, amazing videos will come out of my brain onto YouTube, which is kind of cool. You can also get funky goodies depending on how much cash you're willing to part with you can for example buy yourself some credits in the upcoming videos that i'm going to produce in the end credits so i'd love to have you on board it would be my pleasure to put those in in every title sequence other than that please don't forget to subscribe to my channel on youtube and of course share this video with friends family and total strangers bye for now i will see you next time take care